Hey guys, this is Bryce Lott with Lott Med, and today I'm going to be talking to you about two different, um, well, one catheter and the other one's going to be a catheter insertion kit, all right? A lot of things we talk about are closed catheter kits, you know, in the last videos I've done, which is like the catheter, and it comes with the gloves, it comes with lube, it comes with, you know, um, it comes with a wipe, it comes with, uh, you know, basically everything you need to catheterize sand, you know, to be as sanitized as possible, and, um, you know, to not have to worry about possibly getting a UTI. Today I'm going to talk to you about a kit, which a lot of people um, seem to ask for, which is, um, it's it doesn't have, it doesn't contain a catheter in it. It just basically has everything that would come with a closed catheter kit except the catheter. Because some people like to um, not have the catheter in the packet with it. They prefer to have it, you know, a different type of catheter, but they want to have the kit as well. So they can basically open the kit, take everything out of it that they need, the gloves and the wipes and everything, but they like a different catheter and they just combine them too. So you have two items when you cath. The other thing we're gonna talk about today is gonna to be the Hollister um, closed catheter kit, but this one, actually, this one doesn't come with a uh, gloves or anything else. It just comes basically, the catheter is um, in a bag and um, you know you can actually catheterize without ever touching the catheter um, because the bag is, you could push through the bag. A lot, a lot like the Pico we talked about before, but this is made by Hollister. This one's called the Advanced Pop, Advanced Pocket Plus. Uh, I'm gonna start with that one right now. So this is the this is the Advanced Pocket Plus made by Hollister. It's small. It's um, I mean maybe seven inches long, you know, like three inches wide. Um, you can probably fit, you know, if you have a nice little pack like a book bag, you could easily put like five of these or six of these in your bag with no problem. It's pretty thin. Um, this one, you know, it, um, it to open it, it has a nice little hole there. You poke your hand through. If you have like issues with your hands and opening in them, opening them like a lot of quads, um, you know, you can just kind of scoop a finger into there and pull it like that. I've already opened this one a little bit, but you pull it. It's really easy to rip open like so. You would open it once you take it out the wrapping. This is the catheter. It uses, this uses lube. The lube is going to be... <clears throat> In this little container in this little area right here in the front where you pop the tip you have the catheter now you would use the bag to push the catheter out you see the loop start coming out and you insert it that way never touching the catheter just pushing it on through and once you get to the inside you'll start urinate the urine will go into the bag it'll fill the bag and then once you're done this area here which is the handle you could just literally rip this you rip it it'll make a hole it'll open up and then once it opens up, then you could just drain the urine out, um, you know, a much easier than, you know, if, if, or you could actually even drain it just through this hole, which will catch it on through, then you just lift it up and urine will fall out like that into the toilet, you know, once you're done. But, um, this is the Hollister, um, you know, it's, it's, um, it, it's a good catheter. I, I, I feel like, you know, they kind of made this one after. Um, a lot of the other companies put out theirs, and you know, Hollister does make good products. They're just, you know, they're about they're about average. They don't they don't do anything innovative and new. They really just kind of like, you know, go along with everyone's do with everyone else is doing. But you know, some people believe in Hollister. They like the way the catheter goes in. I'm not going to argue with you. If you like it, then all means keep on working with what you got. And um, yeah, but we definitely sell this and we offer this um, with Lot Med and. Um, yeah, this is a good one. Now, when we talk about this catheter, it just came with the catheter, right? Which is convenient, and it's pre-lubricated. You just put the catheter in, it goes right into a bag, put it into the toilet. But if you want to wipe it with swabs and everything, this is when the catheter insertion kit comes in handy. This is made by Picos. This one does not have a catheter in it. Remember, you would usually combine both these if you wanted to. But this one you can just send on the side of any catheter you like. Um, this one you'd open like so. You'd open it. It would pop open inside here. Everything is in this nice little, little convenient little package. You would open it inside. Once you open it, you'd see this is the layer to put over your pants. So you don't get dirty while you're cathing. I always like that. This is the lube. This is, um, you know, if you have a straight catheter that you use with this. And when I say straight catheter, I mean a catheter that is literally just a catheter. Does it? It's not pre-lubricated. It doesn't have any, you know, it's just a straight catheter. You would add this lube to it, and they put the lube in their kit for you if you need that. Um, it comes with the bag. 
you know, this is just, it's, it's a bag. I guess you could urinate into this thing if you wanted to. You could put your trash in here. In here. I've heard people tell me both ways. It's literally a bag, like kind of like a you know Ziploc kind of deal. I've literally told people have told me when they're camping, they've opened this and they've urinated into it, and then this drip poured out. Um, some people put their, and then when they're done, they put their trash into it and they just toss it away. I mean, I'm not gonna argue. I, I don't think anything's wrong about it. I think it's when you're if you're outdoors, you you are driving a lot or. You need this kind of stuff in your car in case of emergencies. This really comes in handy. I know I've, I've used it many a time when I'm on like a road trip and I can't find a, you know, I don't want to get out the car to go, you know, get out the car, go to the bathroom. Um, maybe if there's a wait in the bathroom at the gas station, it's a pain in the butt. This, you can just go anywhere, pour it outside your car, put the trash inside the Ziploc bag, zip it up, fold it, throw it in the trash. Um, these, in this little pack right here, this is your gloves, uh, you know, to make sure you're in case you can't wash your hands, or if you want to wash your hands and put gloves on, just put these things on. Everything's already, everything is sanitized in here. Gloves are in here as well, and it also comes with a little wipe so you can wipe your private parts before you catheter, before you catheterize. Um, yeah, it's a nice little packet. Uh, I'm not gonna say um, I definitely would suggest it for anybody, even if you don't think you're gonna use it all the time, but you want to have it just in case you might need it in your car. Definitely ask for it. Uh, we could send it to your home with your kits. It, it comes. It's covered by insurance. Um, almost every insurance covers it. Um, they, you know, they want you to be safe as well when it comes to catheterizing. Um, so yeah, this is a uh, Bryce Lot with Lot Med. Today we talked about the Pico catheter insertion kit, and we talked about the Hollister Advanced Pocket Plus catheter. Um, you can reach me on my website, which is www.lotmedllc.com. Always reach out to me through the phone. The phone numbers are on the website. Uh, you guys take it easy and uh, have a happy Friday. Bye bye.